video I'll be showing you how to install uh, Windows 10 on your uh, Huawei MateBook and why I'm doing this is I got this from China and uh, it has a lot of blotware and everything is in Chinese it has a Chinese version of Windows 10 so the better version uh, the solution for this what I what I'm going to show is uh, to, re to reinstall the whole Windows 10 operating system so let's start first things first uh, you need to create a bootable uh, bootable Windows 10 USB pen drive and they gave me a adapter which is USB type C to micro USB thing and they also gave me a micro USB to a USB uh, 2.0 female thing. So uh, let me connect that, and then you need to go go to BIOS and then change the uh, pro appro appropriate settings so that uh, uh, the booting will be done from the pen drive. And also you'll be needing uh, what you'll be needing a bootable pen drive. I'll be showing you how to create that on my other laptop on my Razer Blaster. So let me go show that now these two files are, are needed to create a bootable usb pen drive i'll be using a 32 gb lg uh, pen drive and this is the windows iso windows 10 iso which i downloaded i'll be posting the links for both the things in the description below so open the rufus thing rufus application and then these are the specific specifications which you need to uh, specify you need to select it as gpt and then use this icon over here to actually Select the ISO file and then make sure that the option is GPT, otherwise, the installation will not be possible on your uh, Huawei MateBook. So, select that and then click start. And you need to, you need to be sure that uh, you have selected the correct pen drive, or else your hard disk might be formatted. So, uh, make be sure about that and then start the process by uh, clicking the start. This will take a while. I'll be back on the, with the installation process on my MateBook. I create a ISO bootable uh, pen drive and this is the pen drive which I use in the process and let us check what's there in this Huawei MateBook. Uh, it is a detachable Huawei thing uh, and the leather case contains a keyboard which is backlit. It has a backlit keyboard and a trackpad to use it as a mouse and it has, it has the Huawei has developed its own proprietary connector to connect it to the uh, to pair it with the Huawei MateBook. So it is magnetic so it just connects directly without any hassle or anything and yeah let us start the process to enter the bio settings you need to you need to be holding volume up and then the power button which will take to take you to the bio settings let, let me go through that now yeah keep holding the volume the volume up button and power it on yeah that's the bio settings let me focus that so these are the settings which you need to be having uh, okay the boot order should be USB and then SSD select that and then you need to disable the secure boot okay uh, disable that and these are the two changes which you need to make and then save the same save the changes and exit before you exit you need to uh, plug in the pen drive which 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 was made bootable previously and then restart it so let me plug that in The USB is plugged in. Now let us go continue with the process. Yes, save changes and exit and click on yes. Now this will boot you to the USB pen drive and you can continue the process of installation of uh, Windows 10. It is taking a while. I'll be back once the uh, booting process is done. Android is finally booted and it's asking the language and everything. It's quite small and yeah, the camera is not able to make it. Let me focus that a bit. Yeah. I hope it's clear. It is uh, visible. Yeah. Okay, click next uh, and install now. So I'll be formatting all the available drives first and then uh, make it as a new system and then install all the drivers and everything. Uh, I'll be showing you how to install the drivers once I show, once I show you how uh, the installation process is continued. So uh, 
the drivers uh, once the installation is done the Wi-Fi drivers drivers doesn't work so the solution is to download the drivers from the Huawei support uh, support support page and then copy them to your uh, Huawei MateBook as this doesn't have any extra USB ports or anything it just has a uh, type C connector yeah let me accept that and then yeah click next and then you need to say look this let me focus that Yeah, now you need to click on the custom in install windows only. Uh, click that option, and you need to delete all these post, uh, all these uh, partitions over here uh, by pressing delete. And then once all the uh, once all the partitions are deleted, you can click the next option to start the installation. So that's how you install the Windows 10 uh, uh, in the English version on your MateBook. Uh, I'll be skipping the whole part and I'll be showing you how to install the drivers now. Yeah, let's continue the process. I'll be back once the installation is done and uh, the uh, MateBook is finally booted up. The installation is done and I already installed these browsers and everything. Uh, and copied the drivers which I downloaded. I'll be showing you the drivers. And these drivers, I downloaded them from the officials, official Huawei MateBooks. Uh, support page i'll be posting the links for them in the description below so these are the drivers which are downloaded uh i'll be posting the links for these download uh, these uh, drivers in the description below for you people to access it and uh, these are the website which i uh, which i use to download them so it is The internet is quite slow as of now. Uh, I don't know why that's happening. So this is the page from which I downloaded the drivers required uh, on a different laptop and then copied them to my MateBook and then uh, installed them for the Wi-Fi and the touch screen to be working. And you need to install all the drivers uh, or else uh, there will be some problems or compatibility issues which, might, which may uh, arise while using the MateBook. So that's how you install the uh, English version of Windows 10 on your MateBook. And uh, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, you can click on the thumbs up and also do uh, post the comments in the comment section. And in the future, I'll be showing you how to run Remix OS, that's the Android uh, Android version on the MateBook. Uh, also, do subscribe to get those updates. This is Wamsi from Tech Fortress. Thanks for watching the video, people. Hope it helped you. Bye.